Now shall thy solemn vows be paid to that almighty power that heard the long requests I made in my distressful hour. Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me. This is morning prayer for Tuesday, May the 28th. And the scripture for this service, Psalms 26 and 28, and Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 15 to 24. Open my lips, thy mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, vindicate me, O God, for I have walked with integrity. Alleluia. Psalms 26 and 28. Alleluia, vindicate me, O God, for I have walked with an integrity. I have trusted in you. Therefore, I shall not waver. Examine me, O God, and prove me. Test my mind and my heart, for your loving kindness is before me, and I have walked in your truth. I have not sat with useless people, neither will I go with hypocrites. I have hated the congregation of evildoers, and will not sit with the wicked. I wash my hands in innocence, and so I come to your altar, O God, that I may sing with the voice of thanksgiving and tell of all your wondrous works. O beloved, I have loved your house, the place where you dwell. Gather not my soul with the sinners, nor my life with the bloodthirsty, in whose hands are evil deeds and whose right hands are full of bribes. But as for me, I will, will, will walk in my in integrity, Redeem me and be merciful to me. My foot stands on level ground, and in the congregation I will bless you. Alleluia, I cry to you, my rock, hear me in answer, lest I become like them that go down into the pit. Hear the voice of my supplications when I cry to you, when I lift my hands toward your holy place, Draw me not away with the wicked, nor with the workers of iniquity, which speak peace to their neighbors, but have evil plans in their hearts. Repay them according to their deeds, and according to the wickedness of their endeavors. Repay them according to the work of their hands. Render to them their just deserts. Because they do not regard your actions, nor the works of your hands, you shall destroy them and not build them up. Blessed are you because you have heard my prayers. You are my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in you and I am helped. My heart greatly rejoices and with my song I will praise you. You are the strength of your people. You are the safe refuge of your anointed. Save your people and bless your inheritance and feed them and lift them forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Vindicate me, O God, for I have walked with integrity. Alleluia. The lesson is from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4, beginning at verse 15. Since you saw no form when the Most High spoke to you at Horeb out of the fire, take care and watch yourselves closely, so that you do not act corruptly by making an idol for yourselves in the form of any figure, the likeness of male or female, the likeness of any animal that is on the earth, the likeness of any winged birth, bird that flies in the air, the likeness of anything that creeps on the ground, the likeness of any fish that is in the water under the earth. And when you look up to the heavens and see the sun and the moon and the stars, all the hosts of heaven, do not be led astray and bow down to them and serve them. Things 
that the Most High your God has allotted to all the peoples everywhere under heaven. But the Most High has taken you and brought you out of the iron smelter, out of Egypt, to become a people of his very own possession, as you are now. The Most High was angry with me because of you, and God vowed that I should not cross the Jordan, and that I should not enter the good land that the Most High your God is giving for your possession. For I am going to die in this land without crossing over the Jordan, but you are going to cross over to the lake to the take possession of that good land. So be careful not to forget the covenant that the Most High your God made with you, and not to make for yourselves an idol in the form of anything that the Most High your God has forbidden you. For the Most High your God is a devouring fire and a jealous God. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions for God's people throughout the world. For all of our church leaders, for all clergy and ministers, for this gathering and for all people. For peace in Jerusalem and in all the world, for goodwill among nations and for the well-being of all people and for justice and peace. For the poor, for the sick, especially Carol, Melissa, Carol, and Jayla. For the hungry and the oppressed, for those in prison and those in any need or trouble. We pray for the caregivers, Mary Ann and Deb and Melody and Alan and Bill, and for the missing, Jim and Ed. For all who seek God or a deeper knowledge of God, that they may find and be found for the mercy of God community and for the Sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia. I ask your prayers for the departed, especially Howard, and for all who have died. Praise God for those in every generation in whom Christ has been honored, especially Francis and Claire, that we have, may have grace to glorify Christ in our own day. That God, who's begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment. For the intentions of all who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O oh, merciful God, full of loving kindness, redeem us from all our iniquities, place our feet on level ground, and guide us in your truth. Admit us to your house, and allow us to sing your praises around your table. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.